You all right, bud? Wrapping up. Good morning. Morning. And welcome to Dudley. Dudley. I can't say it. <laughs> we need Rich from Fran and Rich to do it, don't we? Yeah. I bet he can do it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so when we left you last time, we'd just been legging through Lord Ward's tunnel, Dudley Tunnel. Uh, but it's really nice here, despite the road noise, it is really yeah. nice. So we've stayed here for a couple of days just to chill. But today, we're off again. And it's a bit special, isn't it? Because it is to me, Yeah. we're going to Birmingham, actually into the centre of Birmingham. Which is where we took our first boat. Yeah, I think that's why it's that a bit special. That was the first city we went to, wasn't it? Yeah, the first boat we had, called the Great Escape, go right back to the beginning and we, we tell you the story about that. Uh, we came from uh, Hanbury Wharf, and we stopped in Birmingham for a few days and we really enjoyed it, didn't we? Yeah. So, a couple of canal holidays we've had since we moved off that boat and got this one, we tend to go back to Birmingham, don't we? Yes, nice city. So we're looking forward to taking Silver Fox for the very first time into Birmingham. It's kind of a, I don't know, it's like canal home for us, isn't it? Even yeah, though we're from I love, Yorkshire. I'll, yeah, I love that canal. And it's nice to get back into civilization. We've got about 10 Amazon lockers full <laughs> of stuff <laughs> waiting, waiting for, for us. us. Uh, so we're looking forward to it. And because it's a bit special, uh, we thought we'd give the boat a bit of a clean. Yes, it, it got a bit of a douche. Yeah. Coming up the Wolverhampton locks, it definitely got uh, a few scrapes and bangs. And then also the Turley locks and the Audlam locks and the Adderley locks. It did look a bit battered and bruised. Uh, we give it a good wash and a polish and we've sanded and painted all the bumps and scrapes and uh, she's looking like new again. Yay! <laughs> well, it's actually not that far, it's, it's about eight, nine miles. Something like that, yeah. Three locks. And there's only three locks. Uh, which uh, basically there's the there's two lines into Birmingham. There's the Birmingham Old Line, which is the original that James Brindley built. Uh, it's a little bit windy, but it's a bit more. There's more features to look at. Uh, but then Thomas Ten Telford built the new main line, which is like a like an express route, a straight line. Uh, but we're going on the old line, so it's going to take a little bit longer, probably about four hours. Maybe a bit quicker. Four GoPro batteries. <laughs> that I've got to remember to change. Right, are you ready? I am, come on, let's come go. On, let's go. First corner as you come out of Tipton Junction and turn right onto the old line. It's a bit tight. It's, <laughs> the actual junction is pretty big, but where you come out, it's really narrow. So you can't start turning the boat until you're out of the narrows. And when you've got a 57 foot boat, he did it though, and he didn't use his bow thruster. Only because he's burnt it out. <laughs> no, I <am> not. <laughs> it's a lovely morning. Uh, we were thinking about coming yesterday rather than today, but it was a bit windy, wasn't it? It's, it was it yesterday, was quite yes. windy. Whereas we knew today we were going to be calmer and sunnier, and it looks better on camera, doesn't it? See, we do it all for you. We do. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's Tividale Aqueduct. It carries the old line over the Netherton Tunnel branch. Uh, so when you look to the, as you go in towards Birmingham, look to your starboard side, uh, and you can see the canal disappearing into Netherton Tunnel.
like the sun's waiting for us in Birmingham. <laughs> it's eight. That was Braids Hall Junction. And if we wanted to, we could have done a left and gone down the only staircase lock on the whole of the Birmingham Canal Network, or BCN as it's known. And then about half a mile up, it would have taken us on to Thomas Telford's new line, the straighter line into Birmingham. Uh, but we're staying on the old line. It takes a little bit longer, which means another cup of tea, that's all. Yes. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> as you come through Oldbury, you get to Oldbury Junction, and that's where the Titford Canal comes off. <laughs> that's why I didn't tell you before. Uh, and then you're under the M5, which seems to have had this scaffolding around it for, I don't know, donkey's years. Yeah. I think it had it around it the last time we came under here. Uh, but it's going to kind of snake around now under the and around the M5 under bridges and little tunnels. I quite like it. There's something quite photographic about it. Yeah. my favourite bit of this bit of canal. Uh, so the new line, the Birmingham new line main line goes underneath this one and then we've got the railway line from Birmingham to Wolverhampton going above us and then we've got the M5 going above that so you've got like four ways of transport and a footbridge about 100 yards before it all crossing together. Absolutely amazing. Halfway, we're about halfway to uh, Birmingham Centre where we're going. It's weird because if you think back, like a couple of hundred years ago, this would have been rammed with boats and like the Industrial Revolution taking place, and it just it's weird how it's like still rammed, but it's now with cars and motorways and factories and stuff. And that's the problem with this canal. When Brindley built the canal, it was like a victim of its own success. And water became short and the towpath which is I mean it's muddy now but imagine it back in them days with dozens of horses every day pulling boats up and down it so the towpath was getting muddy and horses were sliding about falling in the canal and boatmen were arguing over who's going to use the locks and who's got right away and the water level was getting lower so that's when they called Thomas Telford in like save us Thomas again remember Thomas from I will build build the uh, canal through Nantwich <laughs> door for door so they called Thomas Telford in and he built the new line it's like an expressway it revitalized the canals here in Birmingham and it's the star of the network there's loads of canals in, in Birmingham more canals apparently than there are in Venice how many I know how many but instead of telling you and then you putting in the comments that I'm wrong by 200 meters, <laughs> you can tell me in the comments and I'll tell you if you're right or not. How's that for a deal? That sounds better, doesn't it? Yeah. We'll betide you if you're wrong. <laughs>
As you approach Smethwick Locks, you come to Engine Arm Junction, and just under the footbridge, there's this aqueduct that goes over the new mainline canal and then branches off towards the left. Now, the aqueduct was built in 1825 by my favourite engineer, Thomas Telford. It's gorgeous, it's got these cast iron Gothic arches and columns, it's a great two listed monument. Now the arms, the feeder for the Wolverhampton level of the Birmingham Canals, the level we're at now, and it stretches from here in Smethwick all the way back to Edgebaston Reservoir near the city centre. That's where we're heading, but we're going down the three Smethwick locks to join the new main line. I wish I could speak in Brummie, like that accent. <laughs> I need to ring Ozzy Osbourne and get some lessons there. <laughs> yeah. Or no, Noddy Older. Noddy Older. He'll be, he'll be better. Uh, so they were the three Smethwick locks. They take us from the Birmingham Old Line, Brindley's uh, Canal, uh, back onto the main one. They kind of joined together here at Smethwick Junction. And this then is the direct route straight into the heart of Birmingham. Woo! Whoa. was the Soho Loop. I saw the sign, Soho Loop. Before that, it's one of the old toll islands, and you get them uh, mainly on this stretch of the canal. It's like an island right in the middle of the canal, and the boats have to go either side. And in the olden days, there was a lot of money to be made. So they used to have toll houses on these little islands, and you used to have to pay a toll to get through. I bet it cost a fortune. Pennies. People complain about the M6 toll. <laughs> We're here. Yes, we're here. In Birmingham. Uh, the Sea Life Centre's there. And the Lego place is there. Legoland. And the library is just in the background over there. So there's actually quite a lot of spaces, but we're going to have a walk round towards Gas Street, see what's down there as well, because I prefer it. It's nice down there. Down in Gas Street. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, but we're going to have a walk round, uh, do a bit of shopping, get a bit of lunch. We haven't done too bad. The clock has just struck 12 o'clock, and we set off just after half past eight, about 20 to nine, I think it was. So about three hours, 20 minutes mm -hmm. from Dudley, uh, which is all right, isn't it? Very good. I'm quite happy with that. Yes. And we're gonna hopefully spend a couple of days here. So you could come and see us if you were here five weeks ago when we were recording this. <laughs> 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 right, come on, let's go for a walk. Come on, come on. Come on.
Birmingham. Bye bye Birmingham. I love Birmingham. As you may have gathered, we're now leaving Birmingham. <laughs> two weeks we've been here. Phew. And I'll tell you what, it's been my favourite two weeks that we've been on the canal so far. It's been ace, hasn't it? Absolutely loved. A, being back in civilization. B, having a nice dry brick towpath. <laughs> <laughs> Although there's a lot of tall buildings, so the internet was a bit patchy. A bit poor. But we got through it all right. 160 miles of canal Birmingham used to have. Venice has got 26. Uh, 60 miles of it is abandoned now, so there's, but there's still 100 miles of canal yeah. in Birmingham. That's amazing, isn't it? But we're now leaving and heading off again. Those who can see where we're going might have a clue where we are. But for the rest of you, we're going to tell you next time. <laughs> uh, we hope you've enjoyed this vlog. We've had an absolute blast in Birmingham. It's been yeah. brilliant. It's been amazing. But we will see you next week. If you've liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're not already, please subscribe and hit the notifications bell. YouTube will let you know when we release a new vlog. Even better than that, click join and become a member of the channel or support us on Patreon. There's a link coming up after the outtakes. Any comments or feedback or questions, leave them down below. Oh, I'm feeling really sad. Yeah. I think we'll be back in Birmingham sooner rather than later. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it'll be long. Until next week, we'll see you later. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Bye. You all right, Bod? Ah, that was Tividale. <laughs> what, you all right? <laughs> can't say that. You can't do that, you can't do that, you can't do that. Where are recording? I was recording. Uh, that was, I've forgotten again. <laughs> uh, that was. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy an Andos. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's not done, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs>